have the uh, Baconator meal? And did you want to make that medium or large? Uh, medium, please. I'm sorry, can you just repeat what you just said? Uh, yeah, Baconator combo, medium, and then just a, a natural lemonade. Anything else? Uh, no, that's going to be it. Thank you. Yeah, fix that exhaust hanger. It's super annoying. Alright, what is good you guys? Welcome back to another video. I am not 100% sure what I'm doing today. I kind of just woke up and I was like, oh, it's a lot nicer out today than it has been for the past couple days. Um, so, I was just like, alright, let me pick up the camera and do something. Also, I apologize for the audio quality in the past few videos. I know it's been like super warbly and kind of like distorted. I have no idea why it's doing that. I um, I got a new phone, which is what I actually use to record my videos on, and I think the microphone in the phone is just not good at all. I almost just stalled. I think today I may or may not try to actually solve my little EVAP problem. I have the little piece that I might need, so for those of you who don't remember, or if you do remember because I talk about it in every single video, I have an EVAP leak right now, a PO457, which is a gas cap code, however, my gas cap is perfectly fine. I checked the purge valve, the charcoal canister, pretty much everything that I could check except for one small thing. So it's called a vent valve, and it actually sits right next to the charcoal canister, and it literally is something, it's like the smallest piece that you never would have even thought of, it was only like 80 bucks. And those pieces apparently tend to rot out a lot on these cars and they will cause you to have an EVAP leak. Um, so if you're checking your car for EVAP and you see that your, your purge valve is fine, your charcoal canister is fine, you have no, like, you know, no visible vacuum leaks or anything, it's probably your vent valve. I think today we're going to try to tackle that. So, okay, so I'm going to try my best to show you guys this. Also, yes, ice on the floor, but it's all right. It's just ice. No big deal. Ugh. Okay, so... If you... oh, no. So if you come down here, you'll see this right here. That is the vent valve. That's literally the connector piece. And there is supposed to be a 12 millimeter bolt in there. I don't know if I'm actually showing it. Sorry, it's really hard to get like good camera angles down here. There's supposed to be a 12 millimeter bolt right there. But it's already removed from me, which makes this whole thing slightly easier. Now I just have to take off the connector, move these hoses, and it should just pop right out. Theoretically, it should. We'll see. Okay, so this is a whole different day. Uh, I actually did end up putting in that vent valve piece. Unfortunately, it did not fix my problem. I put in the vent valve piece, but it didn't really fix my issue. So now what I'm thinking is, it might be something even more minuscule, like maybe I just need to clean out my map sensor or get a new one. So, I got some map cleaner right here. We're gonna go try this and hopefully it makes a difference. I noticed that when I'm under boost, my AFRs are not really where they're supposed to be. They actually drop a little bit rather than raise or whatever the case may be. I'm still learning AFRs and stuff. I don't really look at them that much, but I think maybe a good place to start would be there. So, let's try that. That was scary. Almost stripped both of these just now. That thing is dirty as shit. Alright, let's screw this thing back in. It looked a lot cleaner after I did that, like significantly. Uh, I didn't actually realize that it was that dirty, so let's go ahead and get this back in there. And then we'll do a little run to see if it made a difference or not. Little oil change the same time I changed over the uh, vent valve, which I'll show you guys the old one so you can see how crusty it was. Um, but I'm really hoping that this makes makes a difference because if not, it just means I need to get a new map and then also continue to chase down what this stupid freaking vacuum leak or whatever it is could possibly be. So I'm just now getting the chance to actually test out to see if maybe cleaning the map made a difference. I just got out of work. Um, I got you guys set up in the back. I just want to see if maybe I can hit boost properly now. I cleaned the map, and like I said, I changed out that EVAP solenoid. No more check engine light. My dam is a lot higher than it was before at 15. Monitoring boost and my maps and pretty much everything airflow essential just to make sure that there's no problem there. Possibly. 
possibly changing out the op pipe because it might be clogged in the catalytic converter. The problem that I'm having, which I guess they call boost surge or something like that, happens with clogged cats, and the only cat I have is the one in my up pipe, so almost stalled. replacing it with that green speed one and it's fucking snowing outside right now and I don't want to do anything today so I'm gonna at least get this out so you guys can have a video and um, thank you for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed comment like and subscribe and hopefully I will get something else out that's a little bit more exciting for you guys so peace out and uh, I'll see you all in the next one